I think we continue to improve in practice, which generally means you're going to play better in the games. And we've shown that we can play with some very, very good teams, obviously beating Mississippi State and Marshall and playing very competitively and having great chances to win against uh, Virginia Commonwealth. So what we have to do is become more of a consistent basketball team, win some close games. And an 8-6 and six record right now could very easily be 10-4 and four or 11-3. and three. And we just have to continue to try to get better and more consistent. January is going to be a very difficult month for us. Uh, we only have two home games in January. I can't remember in all the years I've coached ever only having two home games. So we're going to have to do a terrific job of becoming a good road team and hang in there until February. And then we need to become really good and make that normal Akron zip run in March. Well, I think it's become pretty obvious that we're a totally different basketball team when Alex Abreu plays versus when he doesn't play. And so, really, he probably missed uh, with injuries and suspensions uh, at least five games or parts of five games, which really challenged us. And it's made some guys have to play out of position like Quincy Diggs, which in the long run is going to make them a better basketball team, but in the short term really slowed our progress. And, I think that's the biggest thing is we faced a lot of adversity this year with a very difficult schedule. I think at least five teams or six teams in the top 100 RPI-wise. So I think uh, we've had adversity. We have to learn to handle that. We've had a little bit of prosperity, and we have to learn how to handle that. And I'm thinking that if this team can uh, continue to have a strong work ethic and practice and we get a break or two, then I think we'll have a chance to be a very good team. Zeke's improved in all areas, really. He, uh, he's a better offensive player. He has better understanding of the game. He has better work ethic. He has better leadership ability. Uh, but most importantly, defensively, he's learned when to block, when not to block, how to stay out of foul trouble. And when he stays out of foul trouble and he's fresh, he's one of the very, very best shot alterers in the country. Uh, it's not so much how many he blocks, which is a terrific amount, obviously, but it's how many he changes and then the psychological impact of guys driving in there and knowing they really don't want to shoot it. So he causes travels, he causes turnovers, and he's just done a really, really good job, and I'm proud of the progress that he's made.